name is Steve Menino. Uh, the restaurant is called Rustico in Alexandria, Virginia. 13 aunts and uncles, cousins, sister, everybody cooks. And that's what everybody did. So it was uh, something that was really instilled in me early, you know, about food and family. The restaurant is very uh, much a neighborhood restaurant. You come here on a first date, you come here on a business lunch, you come here on a business dinner, you can bring your kids. And everybody somehow, some way can find something they like. Our food is very rustic. We have three farmers that grow for us, so we try to keep things very, uh, very fresh. We try to keep it pretty simple, you know, put two or three things that definitely taste like something. You know, I don't want anybody to ever come in here and have a mushroom ravioli and say, what was that? Let's go to the kitchen, we'll talk about quick and easy pasta. It is uh, very, very simple. Three ingredients, uh, flour, eggs, and salt. The trick is we're just gonna mix this right in. Get these eggs and yolks incorporated right into this flour. If you find that it's a little too dry and too hard to work with, you can always add a little bit of water. You can put another egg in there. Uh, if it's too wet, you can always just add a little more flour. And then we're gonna knead it. And as you can see, I take and push my palm into it, pull it back, and then one quarter turn. What this does is it's gonna really start to work the gluten uh, to give it that elasticity and uh, that bite and we'll hold it together. You put this in the refrigerator and let it rest for about 20 minutes so everything can relax. So now we'll cut off a nice manageable piece so you can see it's all a nice solid mass. Same color all the way through, nice and soft, easy to work with. The only real trick to making pasta or actually to make your life easier making pasta is have a pasta maker. You can certainly roll it by hand with a rolling pin. Um, you know, back in the day, a lot of people used to do it with wine bottles. So what we're gonna do, we'll cut some sections. We'll take a little bit of semolina flour, coarser ground, kind of roll it up. And as you go, you, you know, capellini and angel hair, do a little wider, fettuccine, a little wider, yeah, tagliatelle. You know, you can just work your way on to, you know, parpadelli. You know, we're seconds away from eating it now. So we'll take it over to a pot of boiling water. It only takes approximately 20 to 30 seconds for it to be cooked. So we have a pot of boiling water right here. We can also use this dough to make raviolis. We do a lot of different stuff with this. It's very versatile. It's good. Feel free to come down to Rustico uh, in Alexandria and we'll walk you through anything you need to know.